Today we are going to discuss DP level measurement using wet leg method. In my previous lesson we had been learn about the dry leg type installation. In dry leg low side impulse is filled with air from the top of the tank. In wet leg method the low side impulse line will be filled with water or glycol. Because when we measure the level of process which has property of condensate it will condensate to impulse line and it will cause error in the measurement. Example steam. If steam will condensed and fill the low side impulse line. For this we fill the water in low side and calibrate the transmitter. Let's see an example. For wet leg level calculation. Assume that a tank is filled with steam. We have to measure level using a DP level transmitter. First we must know the property of steam. When steam cool down it will change to water. That means bottom of tank will be condensate water. And the steam will be top part of the tank. If we connect the low impulse line in top of the tank, the steam will go through it and condensate in the line. Avoid that we use the condensate pot. On side of condensate pot is connected to low side impulse line and filled with water. And the other end will connect to the tank top. So the steam will directly act to the condensate pot and the pressure transfer to the low pressure side of the level transmitter. The high pressure side of transmitter also act pressure by the condensate water pressure. If we are not use condensate pot the steam condensate and the low side pressure will changing. This will affect the calibration of the transmitter. The condensate pot will help the water level will remain same and transfer the steam pressure. It will minimize the error and get accurate reading. So how we calculate the calibration range of the transmitter? First we have to connect the impulse line to the transmitter. High pressure side of the transmitter connect bottom of the tank and low pressure side connected to the top of the tank trough a condensate pot. For measuring level we have to calculate the LRV and O for the transmitter. For that we can use the equation. LRV equals pressure acting on HP side subtract pressure acting on LP side. So first we calculate LRV. Here we take the height of the impulse line which connected to LP side of transmittal. Height of the impulse line we take 5000. Then we calculate LRV using the equation HP side pressure subtract LP side pressure. So here the HP side pressure equals minimum measuring height times specific gravity of condensate liquid and LP side pressure equals height of impulse line times specific gravity of filled liquid. So the LRV equals 0 times 1 subtract 5000 times 1. So the LRV equals minus 5000. Next we calculate URV. For calculate URV use equation maximum measuring height times specific gravity of liquid. Impulse line height times specific gravity of filled liquid. Here the maximum measuring height is 4000 millimeters. So the URV equals 4000 times 1 to 5000 times 1. So 4000 to 5000 so the URV is minus 1000. I hope you all understood wet leg level measurement. Thanks for watching.